Setting a directory in Fast Tracker 2 allows you easy access to the stuff you were previously working on in your many samples. For this, what you want to do is copy the path of the folder where your samples and patterns are located. Then go to the configure settings. Go under miscellaneous. You want to copy the path of the folder and then paste it in the default directories. After this, when you open up the software and go to the disk operation, it's going to automatically open up to your samples or patterns. To quickly erase samples or instruments, go to the home screen and click Zip. From there, you can choose to erase samples, patterns, or all. To add more tracks to your project, go to the home screen and under Advanced Edit, select Add or Subtract. You can have up to 32 tracks in one project. To remap all of the instruments on one track, go to the home screen and click Advanced Edit. From there, you will see a settings box that says old number and new number. Change the old number to what you have currently loaded in, then change the new number to the new sound that you want. From there, you can change the instrument on the track, pattern, song, or block. For transposing notes on the song, track, pattern, or block, go to the home screen and click Transpose. From there, you can see the current instrument and all instrument settings for transposition. For expanding or shrinking patterns to add more space in between each notes, go to the home screen and then in, under the logo in the top left corner, click Expand or Shrink. Expand will add a line under every other line. Shrink is going to delete every odd row. If you have data, it is going to disappear possibly, so you have to make sure you know what you're deleting when you use the shrink function. Cutting, copying, and pasting patterns is a quick way to duplicate what you have. For this, you want to do Ctrl F3 to cut and Ctrl F5 to paste. Ctrl F4 is to copy it. If the pattern you cut and want to paste is shorter than what the song currently is set up, it's going to ask you if you want to shrink the line count down to match the pattern. Looping sections of patterns can be done under the effects column, which is the fourth one under each track. For that, you want to put E60 where you want to start the loop. 
Next, where you want to end it, you put E62 if you want to repeat it twice, E61 if you want to repeat it once, and that pattern continues. So if you want to repeat it four times, you can put E64. Key off notes are recorded when your finger is removed from the MIDI keyboard. This can stop the sample depending on how long the sample is, and it may or may not be what you want. To turn off the record key off notes function, go to the configure mode, and then you'll see under miscellaneous it says record key off notes. Shut that off. And then when you're done pressing a button on your MIDI keyboard, it won't automatically stop the sample. Moving around quickly on the workspace can be done using the Home, End, Page Up, and Page Down buttons. The Home button jumps you to the beginning of the pattern. The End button jumps you to the end. Page Up and Down move you up and down 16 steps. Live song or pattern recording can be done on the home screen. Under the Stop button, like record song or record pattern. This lets Fast Track 2 operate as many modern DAWs operate, where you can input notes as the song is playing. Changing the sample volume can be done under the third column under each track. 40 is max of volume, and you can go down to zero. Volume for each track can also be changed after the note is inputted. So you can have it start out quietly, then go up every few lines or so. Finally, you can put a fade to the entire pattern. For a whole pattern fade, go to the pattern that you want and click Ctrl V. From there you can set the parameters for how much you want it to fade. 